Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Hang Global. My name is Johnson Lai. I'm the Overseas Sales Director of Hang Global on our lifestyle production line. As we all know, we're living in the chaos of the pandemic of COVID-19, and a lot of countries have been closed. So as a process, what we need to do is we need to show the customers, our customers, the function of the machine, even though they are not here. So what we what we're trying to do is we're going to go through individual customers with their own, with their demo. What we're going to show you is what we have available on site and show you the functionality of the machine, the printing process, the workflow of the machine, and most importantly, your trial. So let me go through each, uh, every module step by step with you. So over here we have our unwind unit. The unwind unit here, module here, is at a, um, it can fit up to 800 millimeter diameter on the three inch core. The unwind unit itself have a function of the lift, so the, um, the unwind can be lifting down so you don't need to hurt your back when, the, when you change material. Over here we have our uh, Corona system over here. Uh, we have our double-sided contact web cleaner down the back of the machine over here. We have our uh, uh, web guide by RE. And here we have a special um, option which is available um, as a hybrid. Now we launched the hybrid since last year and um, towards the end of last year um, uh, together with our machine. Now the hybrid function uh, is customized, so we do have a few um, function options available for customers to choose from. Um, Flexo is one of them. Uh, with the demo machine available on the uh, on this demo room, what we have is we have this Flexo unit. This Flexo unit can be used for cold foil for some special um, pre-finishing like hard solids printing on Pantone and this kind of stuff or you can use it for primer. Now as we all know the inkjet material because of the, um, the ink needs to have special, it needs to have a higher surface tension on the adhesion of the material. So we do have, uh, for us, we do have around 50 material recommended approved material for customers to choose from. But a lot of times when you come into trick some tricky materials, primer is um, suggested. So um, if, you, if the customer has a lot of um, special tricky materials, so uh, primer is the better option for, for customers. Of course, um, primer is also done by UV, so you have our uh, UV uh, curing system on here as well. Uh, with this function, you can have one module of flexible unit or two module of flexible unit, depends on the process, because a lot of people would, would like to do um, uh, foil after print. So print on foil, or you not want to do some special features on the machine. And over here, this is the main feature of our machine, um, the inject unit. Mm. So the, in the showroom, what we have on this machine is a five color white per CMYK with 600 dpi print head on. We have two different functions on this machine. On, uh, we have two different specs on this machine. But uh, from one spec, you can also upgrade to another, depends on the need of your customers. Now at the moment, this machine is set to 600 dpi. So what, what happens is, the print head, one Kurosawa print head itself is a 600 dpi. We develop a special feature, what we call a binary process. What it does is we use two Kurosawa print head to make up the same, to make up the resolution of 1200 dpi. So we have 600 and 600, or add them together, it comes to, it becomes 1200. And also, uh, with the special feature of this machine, the customer can buy the existing 600 now, available now, and they can do future upgrade if they see the need of the if they see the need in the future. On the white section here, you have the white, and this white because a lot of customers will need to have a very hard cover, very hard dense cover on the white itself. So. Um, 
you might need to have a double white print head just to just to make sure you have enough density on the white. So this function is valuable as well for, as an option for customers to choose to add uh, additional um, print module on the head. So after the white module is printed, you have the LED pinning on here. If you don't need to use white, you can move the cargo at the back resting position at the back here. Here you have CMYK down here. Now, uh, as you can see, this machine is ready made for upgrade to 1200 and as to all our machines. So in the future, if the customer now bought 600 DPI in the future, what the customer can do is they can just buy the head for us and then we will come to your site and do um, on-site upgrade. So within, within two or three hours, your machine is 1200 ready. On here, the function of the machine on here, we, um, the, we have two different, we, have, we print two colors and then we go through a pinning. Two colors, we go for printing. After all the printing process is done, down here we have our chill roller and we have our conventional UV, also by um, UV red, down the bottom here. So over here, after the print, after the print section, you can have the option to choose from as well. Depends on uh, your process again. You can also add a flexo unit for varnish. You can the flexo unit can be also used as a cold foil unit. So um, <coughs> if you have a lot of um, special feature material, um, you need to do cold foil. You can add it on here, and you can also do um, varnish because um, UV inkjet inks tends to be a little bit more glossy than flexo inks. So a lot of customers doesn't like that. You can also put a matte varnish at the back of the machine. So it's also another option available. As well as that, we can also have the uh, uh, option function available for lamination, either wet lamination or dry lamination. It's also another option to choose from. And then over here, you have our converting of the press. Now, um, the converting of our press is using a magnetic cylinder, and this die cutting module can be functioned as semi rotary or full rotary, depends on the need of you. Of course, semi rotary will save a lot of costs. You just need to find, buy the flexible die, slide, uh, slap it on, and the way you print. And here you have your um, sleeping system, you have your matrix rewind. This is our control panel. So everything is controlled by him. Okay, on the control panel here, on the left hand side, you can see the actual print of the file. On the middle section here, you can see the lineup of the file. On the le left hand section of the print, you can see the repeat of the print and you can see how many pages you want to print out. See here we, we have marked 19 prints for the print out. And on the next page you can see all the consumable needed to consume on the end course of the repeat. So here you can see the 19 repeat and within the 19 repeat this is the total consumption of each repeat. So in total you consume 21.38 milliliters of ink for the 19 print. Over here you can see the main control panel. Now from the main control panel you can see the temperature, you can see the voltage of the each print and you can see all the tension control as well on the on the on the control panel setting as well. And then you have your unwind unit here. The unwind the sorry the rewind unit. The rewind unit is also featured with 800 uh, millimeter diameter and also it's on the lifting, it have a lifting function as well so the lift is going to go down when you roll the material out so you don't hurt your back end at all. Um, down the bottom of the press, <coughs> at the back of the press, here is the back of the press so you can see this is all the electrical cabinet over here we have. This is the main electrical cabinet, this is the motor, uh, the servo motor electrical cabinet. Um, down the back we have our UV cabinet, you have our uh, Corona cabinet, we have your uh, chill Chira and the rest. Over here, this is our inking storage here. 
So we have our design of engine storage uh, separate from the machine. Well, because when you fill the machine up, if you spill some, you don't make a big mess over the machine. And each container is a 20 liter container drum, so you don't need to refill um, very often. So over here we have a white section. The white uh, container bottle tends to be a little bit smaller um, because you need to keep it a little bit more fresher. Um, over here, this is the cleaning, the, the um, CMYK section here. And then because we have, we also have our automatic cleaning system available on the machine, which means there will be some cleaning residue um, as a waste. So again, outside of the um, anking storage, you have a separate tank for wastage. So it's easier to, for you to operate. You just need to change the drums. So if you spill, you don't make a big, big mess on the machine. So let me introduce you also the function of the cleaning system. Come. <clears throat> so over here, this section here, we have our cleaning system. Now at the moment, the, uh, the cargo of the machine is at the rest position. What happens is we have a capping system at the back of the machine. When the cargo is moving towards the resting position, the capping system is moving from bottom up. So once the capping is sealed together on with the print head, what we do, we, uh, what we call this, we, we need to press the inks. So by pressing the ink, we tend to um, clean up all the nozzles, which may be blocked, which may be semi blocked. Well, what we do is when we press the inks through the nozzles, it's going to clean out all the residual um, inks inside, inside the nozzles to clean it up. Now, once everything is clean, once everything is pressed, the machine, the, uh, the color section of the cargo is going to move to the ready position. And as it's moving to the ready position, the capping, on the top of the capping, there is a soft rubber docker brake. With the soft rubber docker brake, as the cargo is moving towards the ready position, the docker brake tends to wipe e on an even uh, pressure throughout the print head, the print. So it's wiping it all the way clean on the print head. So to make sure everything is clean. So this is most of the function of the machine. And here I will present to you your trial. Today it concludes our demonstration. If you have any questions at all, please contact your local agents or email directly to me and I will answer you as, possible, as soon as possible. Thank you.